I'm happy to be with you again today. And today I want to share a few poems and give you a little backstory. It was 1994 and a friend of mine, Arliss, said, why don't you take some of your poetry and put it with your husband's art? And we did that. And then we would do some craft shows. And I remember one year, there was a craft show at the Christian school in town. And my friend Jenny said, are you gonna do that craft show? And I said, I don't have the money for the fees. And she said, no, you need to do it. And she graciously paid for the fee. And it wasn't a lot of money, but it, it was so generous. I really, really was thankful for that. And the thing is, when God has us do things, we never know what's involved because we don't know what the future is, but God does. So I did that craft show, and the result was there was a woman that came there that I never met. She never came up to me and talked to me, but she went home and she called her son-in-law and said, I've been to this craft show. You need to see this girl's work. And because of that, this man called me up and asked if we could meet. He sent me a card and said, I was wondering if I could meet with you. And he did meet and he wanted to offer me an opportunity to have my poetry on plaques, wooden plaques. And they were put in stores and sold in the U.S. and then in other countries. The day he came over to meet my husband and me, I remember being nervous, but excited too. And so he came and I remember feeling okay with letting him take some of the poetry that he could read over for himself and, and make the decision. But I have to tell you, it's one thing to say you're gonna do something, and it's quite another thing to hand over poems that you've written, that you've had for years, and see somebody walk out the door with this notebook under their arm. It's really, really scary, or at least it was for me. Which makes me remember a poem called Let Go. My hands are clenched, my knuckles white, I'm hanging on with all my might. And then I hear God whisper low, come on my child, let go. You see, God knows things we don't know. And so what happened was I did let the poems go out the door and it, w it ended up being a wonderful opportunity. And that led to another opportunity where I met another company. And I still have my poetry sold in stores, like I said, in the US and in many other countries. And that was all God's doing. But it took me saying yes to that craft show because I didn't know what was gonna happen. We never know what one opportunity may lead to. I think a lot of this is tied into our trust, but I think a lot of it is tied into just praying. This is called Every Time You Hear Me Pray. I know it doesn't matter, Lord, how big this world may grow. You never will forget me, and you've often told me so. You count each hair upon my head. You watch me night and day, and you will quiet heaven every time you hear me pray. God cares about the things that we care about. In fact, he tells us in, in 2 Peter uh, 5, 7, cast, cast your cares on him for he cares for you or it might be 1 Peter 5, 7, check it out. God cares about what we care about. And that's why he tells us that in his word. I think what happens sometimes is we get scared. I think fear shows up at the most unopportune times, if that's even a word, but it does. We'll, we'll start trusting 
And then, like Peter, we'll notice the wind and the waves, and our eyes will come off the Lord. This poem is called By Sight. I really want to trust you, Lord, but I end up in tears. I start out strong, but it's not long I'm overcome with fears. I say I want to walk by faith and try with all my might, but if I'm really honest, God, I'd rather walk by sight. When was the last time you really trusted God not knowing what the outcome would be. It says, without faith, it's impossible to please him. God is pleased when we decide to trust him and we don't know what the outcome will be. God is worthy of our trust. I think of all the times that I got scared and I decided I'm gonna trust you anyway, God. And God comes through. It may look a lot different than what I was thinking, but that doesn't matter. Because we also know in Romans 8.28 that God will work all things together for our good. That doesn't mean he works it together the way we think he should because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And I remember when that really hit me and I thought, wait a minute, we don't think alike? And the answer is no, we don't. I can't figure out God. I don't think you can either. But that's the way it should be because he's God Almighty and he is sovereign. He's all powerful. He knows what we need. He gives us grace for the day. He answers our prayers. He's always with us. Is it any wonder that he's worthy of our trust? Oh friend, I don't know what you're going through today, but God does. If you want any prayer, Leave, leave a comment and I will pray for you. But even if you don't, our God knows what you need. He knows your heart. And when you can't verbalize what you need, he still knows. That's the kind of loving father that God is. I hope you have a great day as you look to him and you trust him, for he truly is worthy of your trust. And I wanna pray for you right now. Oh, Father God, I pray for anyone who ends up watching this tape. I pray that you would meet their needs, that you would give them grace, and Lord, if they need healing, that you would heal them. Lord, some of the people watching have lost loved ones. I pray that your Holy Spirit would comfort them like no one else can. We will give you the praise and the glory for we ask this in Jesus' precious name, amen. Thanks, friends.